Welcome to another episode of the Chief Audit Executive Briefing. Hey, uh, to start off with, this is the 40th episode. So uh, we've been doing this about a year, uh, coming to you each week to give you some tips and uh, ways to improve and step more into that executive presence and really elevate uh, internal audit in your organization and for your career. So I'm glad to be here with you still. Uh, if you've got any suggestions on how to improve the briefing, uh, more of what you'd like to see each week, just reply back to this email and let me know. Now today, I wanted to continue our discussion about getting budget and resources. Uh, but before we kind of delve into that, um, I just wanted to let you know that the team, uh, my team right now is actually, we're finalizing the survey. Uh, so many of you gave us feedback on some of those opportunities and challenges and some of the top uh, audit projects that you're working on. And so we should have that out to you very soon. Uh, so I wanted to just give you an update on that. We're kind of putting some of the finishing touches on that. Now, the second thing is, uh, you know, down below in the email here, uh, for you to be able to schedule your no obligation 30 minute call, uh, just to see if the chief audit executive forum is right for you. So again, it's a no obligation call. Just wanna make sure that you know the link is down below. Just click on that link, uh, schedule a time when we can talk for 30 minutes and we'll just see what you're going through and if this would be something that would be beneficial for you. Now, to jump into today's topic, um, you know, for the last several weeks, we have been talking about getting budget and resources, some of the things that you can think about in, um, you know, thinking more like an investment center and less like a cost center. Because again, the CFO loves to cut costs, but they love to make good investments. So you want them to see you as a good investment, not as a cost, okay? Now, what I want you to do is if you're, if, uh, you know, if, if you're driving or doing something like that, then don't worry about this. But what I want you to do is stop and grab a piece of paper. Uh, so if you need to go ahead and pause the video, grab a pen and paper, uh, because I wanna go through kind of a little exercise with you, show you how some of these things fit in uh, with the things that we're talking about you know, broader as how you can in, improve or increase your executive presence in the organization. Okay, so you've got your pen and paper. What I want you to do is think about um, three circles. Okay, circles. And uh, what I want you to do, I'm, I'm going to draw out here on my piece of paper. I've got my trusty marker here. And uh, I want you to draw on your paper three different circles that end up kind of in a Venn diagram like this. Okay, so go ahead and write that out. And as you're doing that, what I want you to do, the, the, the circle at the bottom left, I want you to write the word self. Okay, at the circle in the top, I want you to write stakeholder. And I'm doing this with you. And the circle on the bottom right, I want you to write the word staff. Okay, so you, your picture should look kind of like this now. So you've got stakeholders, staff, and self on this uh, document, okay? Because we're gonna use this to talk today about kind of pulling together some of those uh, discussions we've been having. These three circles represent kind of the three areas that you need to work on and you have to balance well in order to really be seen as an executive and have that executive presence. You have to be able to manage yourself, you have to manage stakeholders and you have to manage your staff. So how the budgeting and resource information ties into this is that is something that you work on in the self and stakeholder. Now, a lot of you may be going, why self? Stakeholder, I can understand because I'm trying to manage my stakeholders. I'm trying to get budget. That makes sense. But how come self is in there as well? 
Well, here's the reason. And we talked a little bit about this before. If you see yourself as a cost center and not as an investment center, then everyone else in the organization will also see you as a cost center. So you have to believe it yourself. You have to have that self-determination and realize and think of yourself as an investment center because if you don't see yourself that way, no one else will as well. So again, some of the things we've talked about are ways in calculating a return on investment and trying to think that way, change the way in which you're actually having some of those discussions, keeping a list of some of the things that you've done during the year uh, to be able to show how you've had a return on, on your budget or your investment that the company's making in you. And again, that kind of discussion works in both the self and the stakeholder area. So as I go forward, as, I, as I'm talking to you more about some of these different topics, I'm gonna try to help tie it in uh, to that because that's a really valuable model that I've developed uh, to be able to help you in thinking about what you need to do or can do to try to improve your executive presence at your organization. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this week, my friends. Uh, go out, have a great week, and I'll see you next week on the Chief Audit Executive Briefing.